Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Connie. Just coming on today to share with you a quick card that I'm created that I've created, excuse me. This is part of a watermelon gift set that I'm working on. Um, I have not finished the rest of the pieces. I will get those and share as I go. I might do some project or excuse me, some process videos. I'm not positive yet. Anyway, uh, my card paper piece is from Mercury and Designs. It was, <clears throat> excuse me, a free file. I'm not sure if it sure is, still is. Goodness, it's early. I can't talk this morning. Anyway, uh, but be sure to check it out. I'll leave the link for her website in my um, description box below. I just used some pattern paper that I printed out from an Etsy seller. I can't think of the name of it right now. It might be from Scrapbook Gems, but I'm not positive. Uh, but I printed the, the words have a and day with my Cricut. I just used a white gel pen to print. And then the word sweet, I think it's from Cricut Design Space. I just did it, did the, the word sweet it three times in black. And then I did an offset and hit any of the contours. And I did that three times in white, and then I just put it on there. I just got some, I um, think those are some kind of a mistletoe color. I can't think of the name of it. It's from New Wood Drops, I believe. Almost positive. And then I just put a black strip in here. Used some uh, twine, some red twine from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And then the little gem is just one that I had in my stash. Then I had some of the red paper left. So I just put a strip inside. I don't decorate my insides too much. The one thing I wanted to tell you, I wasn't sure when I did the paper piecing if I was going to do any glitter or excuse me, any uh, Nouveau drops or anything. So on the seeds of this, I wanted to quick share with you, I did put one layer of Nouveau drops on the seeds. Not Nouveau drops, excuse me, glossy accents. Like I said, it's very early. I apologize. I did put uh, some black glitter it's not going to show a whole lot. Uh, yeah, it is black glitter. And then I put a layer of glossy accents over the top. And I think that's the black stickles. I also have pops of color in a black. And then on the little seeds, and I'm not sure. Yeah, it'll pick it up some, the shininess. That is a glaze pen. I didn't want to get, the Nouveau Drops might have been way too small. Uh, way too little for me to get on this. So I just used the glaze pen. But just a real quick card, um, I'm going to be doing, like I said, several other projects. So as I come on and do things, I'll either share with you or do the whole share at the end. Not sure, but I've got a little gift bag and some stuff to go in it. So I do a process video for the little bear. Uh, if you want to stick around for that, just a paper piecing process, just a quick video. But otherwise, I do want to thank you for joining me. I will be back soon with another project share and process video for you. So have a great a great day, everybody. Take care. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the uh, paper piece together first. Uh, again, this is Watermelon Bear from Marjorie and Designs. It had been a freebie. Uh, I checked the website just not too long ago, and it seemed to be still free. So uh, I hope it still is for you. I'm going to go ahead and put this watermelon together. This little one goes together the same way. It's pretty, pretty easy here just to match up uh, the pieces and line everything up at the top and try to get it centered. So, yeah. No worries, right? I'm just using some printed paper here and it's only 65 pound weight, so it's just a bit... Uh, be more challenging. Don't mind my inking. My fingers just went every which direction on this today. It all goes together fun. I checked or I would have cut it, but it doesn't matter if you watermelons do have different uh, no they're not all one exact same color so just gonna go with it. Excuse my inky fingers. I just sat down and got everything together. Just so we could get this going. I've got 
some other appointments I also have to get to today, so. But I wanted to get this done. I'm honestly so far behind, as usual. I, I just had a little bit of a step back with some I was just going to say health problems, so, but temporarily they're better, or well, a little better, so do what I can when I can. I'm just putting a little bit of white in there for highlighting. I don't want a lot in there, but a little bit here. Okay, now there should be, I think... Possibly seven pieces. Not sure. We'll find out. And I'll explain to you how I do them. Hopefully they won't take too long. Since I just did. The little ones. This should glue should be fairly ready to go. I hope. Excuse my reach. Okay, so let me first count how many of the little bit bigger pieces I have. And that's the nose. Okay, so nine. Wonderful. Always good when it's an uneven number. So what I do, and since I can't get this lined up exactly... I'm pretty close here. I just take one and I figure out where the center is. I've got two and a quarter. It's just off center here. And I just start there. I'm going to work up, but I work out, so I do one on each side. I hope that makes sense here. I'll do a couple and show you. I don't know exactly how far apart these are, so, but I'll go. Now I'm going to go four up, so one. I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch or so apart. Should have put something on the back of that to have it hold a bit on here, but then I need to turn it anyway, so thinking out loud. Okay, now I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch or so and go this side, and I'm going to start curving them a bit. I don't push it down until I get it where I want it. And then the glue will not be quite so permanent. Now this is barely art glue, so, but the same goes for art glitter glue. If you don't press it down, so that's one, two. So one, two, I got two more to put on here. If you don't push it down immediately, you can move it still a bit. It's just, that's the beauty of both of these glues. And I'm just getting it approximate. I'm not going to get it exact. Okay. And I, I know I forgot one thing to get out. I'll get it before I'm done. Hopefully I'll remember. I'm not putting glitter and I'm not putting glossy accents on these uh, little seeds. They are just too tiny for me to do that, to be honest with you. I will never manage without making a mess everywhere. Isn't that terrible? So, I have an alternative. Work with me. Are there two here yet? Let the other one go. Uh, freaking fingers. Excuse me, but I get so frustrated with them. 
I will have to cut another one. I'll stop the video and do that. Unless I quick find it. Most more here. That's my lovely chair. Oh, I found it. Wonderful. Now to pick it up. Well, I feel sorry for my neighbors when I'm working because my chair is, needs some new bottom pieces. Doesn't make so much noise. My goal is to have these about the same from the top. So what I'm going to do, and here, or I'll forget. I'll try to do a close-up when I do the uh, card part of it. I'm using the glaze pen, and I'm going to go over... I'm not going to do each one because it'll take me a while. But I'm going to go over each pen or each black seed and put a little bit of glaze on it. I don't know if that's showing at all. There are little bits you can see on that bottom middle one here. And if I don't like it for some reason, I might try to do glossy accents on it yet. I don't know. That's going to be a touch and go situation. Okay, let's go ahead and get our working on our bear. Going to put the body piece on first, and rest of my pieces I'm going to use different glue or a different dispenser. So make a little room here. We can get going. This is Encore paper. I have no idea what color it is. This is uh, from Michael's. It's just uh, their craft color and their brand. And I use it for backing a lot if I don't want to use my better paper. So, just if you're wondering. Okay. I have to kind of look. I think both the ears are about the same on this one. I don't know, it's just a little bit different. There. Style. Let's try this side. I think they're upside down. Work with me today. Normally I dry, pr dry piece these, but then when I'm trying to get done in a relatively speedy amount of time, ha uh ha, -huh, it doesn't work. I don't dry piece and then I don't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get The bare ears obviously lined up. Let me see if this did. We'll go with it. Now these are a tiny bit of an oval, just like the ears are, so I am putting them uh, at the bottoms, obviously, but not, I'm not putting them. So you see it's an oval, I'm not putting them this way, I'm putting them the elongated way, however they fit the curve of the bear's ear. I hope that made some sense. Then I have its face. I hope everybody's having a good day. I am, um, it's just been, 
busy and kind of crazy around here. I'm uh, working on a watermelon uh, gift set and also trying, if I haven't had a lot of things, if you follow me on Facebook, it's simply because I have been working on, when I feel like it, working on my niece's, great niece's uh, summer scrapbook album, and I decided not to show any of my pieces or pages anymore. I did, I think, one on my Facebook page. And I decided to wait and share it when it's all done. So that's why I haven't had anything to share for a bit. That and I'm working on, a, I just finished a larger uh, set for my, uh, what do you call it, design team project. So everything takes time. And I just use uh, Picket Fence Distress Ink and a blending brush for my highlighting. Depends upon the size of the piece versus how big of a brush I use. So, if you're wondering, you can use the oval headed brushes. I have those too. Uh, whatever, whatever you feel like. There is more on there than it looks like. I just don't want to get too much. So, the camera probably isn't picking up all of it. I'm sorry. Okay, now the eyes. And these eyes are, the whites are both the same as size as the black. I'll make sure I didn't mark on these this time. So all I do is put some glue on the bottom half of the black. And I put this down fairly close to the bottom, get a hold of it, match up the outsides, the, the outside lines, okay? And then you have your eyes. You can use any eyes you want. This just this I'm using the eyes that came with the design. So That's perfectly good luck with those. And I try to get the whites, the amount of white at the bottom as even as possible. That in itself is a feat sometimes, but the same. All right, now I'm going to put this on and I want to get it centered. Before I do that, I'm going to put some ink for the chart. Awesome chalk for the pe for the cheeks. Yeah, I'm gonna use chalk today instead of ink. I'm using a like a terracotta and a pink mixed together. Just, I don't know how much is on here, and there's some ink on here, so I want to be careful how much I'm using. Sometimes I seem to get carried away with the uh, amount of blush I put on his cheeks, their cheeks. So it looks like a lot. It's not near as dark in real life. I know you guys are saying, yeah, right, but it really isn't. So well, let's see. Let's put it down. I'm not going to put this, glue it down. I'm just going to kind of hold it. And I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much the same other way. And I'm going to put just a drop of glue on the nose. I will come back and glue it down more if I need to when it gets further, but it helps me to know where I want to put my eyes if I have the nose somewhat glued down. 
and the muzzle on, and this is the part that takes me forever. I apologize. It's I'm going to do one eye, the detailing, and then I'm going to do the other one. I'll just pause the video and do it. I put my eyes with the, I have to think about how I want these. Yeah, I put the long side out. So the, the side that's not as curved, I put that to the outside. So I put them like this. I don't know if I want them like this though this time. Nope, I'm going to change it. I misspoke. I'm going to put those to the inside, the long part this time. I'll show you with this one. You have a shorter curve and a longer curve. You can see that. The longer curve on the inside. So the longer curves, good grief, good. The longer curves are going to, to meet in the middle, so to speak. Okay, like I said, I'll do one eye and then I will do the other one off camera. And I'm just using these little wand things, I forget what they're called, I got off of Amazon. If you do not have the little three and five millimeter pom-poms, these also work really nice excuse me, for applying ink onto small pieces. I just thought I would share that. I just, uh, I have three millimeter pom-poms, but something I was working on, this just made it so much easier. So for that particular piece, but I just thought I would share that with you. Oh, excuse me. And I'm going to put the, the chalk on here since I have it out, but the eyelashes I will do separate. I usually do this from the, the right one. I do just opposite of the left one. So I start at the top and work down, but uh, this time I didn't, and I should have. Okay. And I'm using a number of Five zero five, excuse me, micron black pen for my outlining of my eyes. Oh, I might as well just do both. It's just as quick to do it this as to stop the video since I'm, I've got my pens out. And I use a zero zero five for eyelashes and since they're uh, smaller bears, if it was a larger face, I would probably use a 02 micron pen. It just really depends. Each piece is different. But on my smaller pieces, I do use 005. Sure my gel pen is right in today. For some reason they work great in the summer and in the winter they just, you know, um, I shouldn't say that because now it won't work right. Right. Good grief, yesterday it worked fine.
Just kick me one moment. Just a sit. Anyway, they work fine in the summer. It's the winter I have no problems. That one is is just temperamental as it is, so who knows? I want to wait for that to dry a little bit before I do anything more with it. I'm just not comfortable. This centered. I'm not doing anything with the nose until I get the glitter on, which I don't have with me. I'll be putting black glitter on. I'll let it dry. Then I put a layer of glossy accents on top, and then I put my white gel pen marks on. So, if you're wondering, yes, I go to a lot of work with my <laughs> uh, paper pieces, but. Just about done. That white may or may not fade a little bit. We'll see. That picked up black from the paper. Then all we have to do, put this on. Some pull on. I'll be popping the whole thing up when I put it on the card, so I'm not popping anything in between. And then this just goes like this. I'm not sure exactly, I don't remember exactly how it was in the um on the picture, so I'm just going to go the way I kind of think. Oops, I would have been the wrong side. This edge. Still dab the glue. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with glossy accents. I'll do that on my uh, seeds, not the baby ones, that's too much, but uh, let's see, where's his hand at? Arm. Nope, it's just going to go like this. This is a 05. For little pieces, I really like it. And it's a uh, Sakura jelly roll pen. And let's pull these out a little bit if I can. Okay. So that is my paper piece. I'll get it on my card and wanted to thank you all for joining me. Have an awesome day and take care, everybody.